Hey guys, my name is Kaden or Nighthawk and I want to put turn signals on my bicycle. I got the idea because I, here at my, at my uh, university, we seem to have some problems with foot traffic where it's hard to tell where, it's hard for the, the oncoming traffic to tell where I'm going. I mean, of course you can use your, your hand signals and whatnot, or also on the road, but what if you had just like a little switch on your, hand floor, on your handlebar so you can just click and you have a set of blinking lights that will activate um, depending on which way you're turning. That is what I, will, what I would like to do today. Okay, so here's the plan. This is the midnight broom that I have been having up here on campus for the last three years that I've been here. And it has been it has evolved over the years with the sound pipe and then recently a 12 volt head and tail light system where the battery can run down from the little pouch here into the switch toggling our lights. But now I wanna add on to the circuit. So we got this blinker relay here with an, with an adjustable uh, blinking time in a sense. It's a little sensitive though for these LED lamps that I'll get here in just a minute. I'm thinking I want to maybe zip tie along this uh, bar here. Not really sure where, but we'll, that is to be determined here. And then we're going to run a lead wire out to a switch here. Then I'm going to locate. Whoop, then I'm going to locate uh, somewhere about here, with the, so it's ease of access with my thumb. So we can press one one way down for our left turn signals and then the other way for our right turn signals. And then of course the two outputs will go to our LED, to four of these uh, LED lamps. These are trailer clear, clearance lamps. Um, they're LED, they're nice and bright. They, they work with the system. And I'm thinking for the front, what we can do is we can shove these wires in here into the handlebars. And I got these handlebar grips into a point where the this rubber diameter here fits almost snug in there. So it's seamless and it tucks everything away, it makes everything nice despite, well, maybe we can harness this wire though, but we're still gonna have looms everywhere and whatnot. So we'll have one on this side, we'll have one on the other side. And then for the back, what, what I'm gonna do is maybe make a plate or a little 3D printed part here with, with our engineering services. And then I'm just gonna put this on there and then what we'll do is maybe like have them right, maybe put the blinkers maybe just about right there, mirrored on the other side as well. And then of course having all the grounds run together somewhere and back to the ground of the battery. Bada bing, bada boom. There, we could also do it uh, down here too, but it just might look a little odd. And also, I don't know how I'm gonna attach this to, to here without ru ruining the structural integrity and whatnot. Otherwise, if we didn't have this here, I would still make a similar plate and attach it to the seat and it would be probably about right here. But you know, we got a basket so I can carry my school supplies around. All right, let's go ahead and get uh, designing. Thank you. 